Hi everyone, my name is Sue Viscara, the Digital Declutter Diva, and today we're going to talk about quick steps in Microsoft Outlook. This is one of my favorite features to save time. And you know me, I'm all about saving time and being efficient. Now, depending on what version of Outlook you have, we may need to dig a little bit in order to find your quick steps. So let me show you what I have. Okay, everyone, I would love for you to go ahead and open up your Outlook inbox, click on the home tab and look for this lightning bolt. This is where quick steps are located. Now, Microsoft Outlook has already given you some default quick steps. They can be edited and we can also add new ones, which is really cool. If you don't see this lightning bolt, um, go ahead and reach out to me and I'll help you to locate it because it could be hidden at this time. All right, so let's see what is available to us. So if I click on my quick steps and in your version, you may actually see these. I don't see them until I click on the quick steps because I have a smaller monitor. So it's going to look different for each person. All right, so this says that it's going to move the email to a selected folder. This one is going to send it to my manager. So if you have Microsoft Exchange and your IT department has already configured this, it will go straight to your manager. And, it, and also the IT department may have configured this for your team email. So if you hover over each one, it tells you the purpose of that quick step. Reply and delete will delete this from your inbox. It will be in your deleted items folder. So if you do need to grab it, you can grab it back if you really did not want it to delete and then create new so we can create new quick steps. Let's go ahead and take a look at create new. So the first thing we're going to do is name the quick step and choose an action. So for those who are new to quick steps, we don't even know what our choices are. So how can we come up with a name? So let's go ahead and click on the choose action. So we can have the email move to a folder. It could be deleted. It could be permanently deleted. We can change the status. We can assign a category, uh, flag it, um, create a task with it. We can also respond with a new message. We can forward this. We can reply with a meeting. We can forward the message, message as an attachment. So instead of just forwarding the message, writing an email to someone and everything from the previous message is below it, it actually takes that and attaches it as its own um, attachment, just like you would attach a Word document or a PowerPoint document. So it stays in its pure form. All right, so go ahead and explore some of these options that you have available to you. I'm going to go ahead and just add, let's see, flag message. So I'm going to flag a message. I'm going to go ahead and add that one. And this one already does have a default name. So you know what? I like that default name. We're going to go ahead and, and do that. And now it's going to ask me what flag. Well, I want to remember to do this today. And then we're going to say action. Uh, then we're going to say finish. You can see you can do actually multiple actions, but we're just going to keep it simple for now. So finish. All right. So this email I have selected because I'm highlighting it, right? So I have this email and I'm going to use a quick step. I can flag the message. Immediately you see the flag appear. The other thing I might want to do is I may want to move it. And in this situation, I actually have a folder called keep and I have said, let's move it to keep. It's gone. It went to that folder. You can always navigate to that folder and get it back. No worries. But let's look at how we might change what that move to folder is. When you first use this function, it hasn't specified a folder. You do need to tell it what inbox folder to send this to. So I'm going to hover over move to and I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit it. So move to folder. See, there's really nothing interesting here. Um, so after you create a folder, you can just have it move to that folder. I'm going to save it. And again, any of these messages, I can just click 
and say move. Now it's gone. It's to my folder over here, which is called keep. I've moved it to keep. Let's look at some of these other options. We can send it to our manager. We can send it to the team. We can mark it as, let's do a reply and delete. What happens when we reply at and delete? So you'll notice there is an email called no title group FOIC. We're going to do reply and delete. So uh, here's the message. I can reply, make my message, send it. For now, I'm just going to close it and it is gone because I've already chosen reply and delete. So it's already deleted it. If I want it back, I have to actually navigate to deleted to grab that back. Another opportunity that we have here is let's add a new quick step. And I'm going to say, I want to make a task out of this. So I'm going to create a task and I'm just going to say task finish. So with this one, let's say that, um, here we go. It says apply for tuition. And I want to make sure I do this before March 1st. I'm going to add this to a task. So in the quick step, I can just go ahead and mark task, choose a start date, a due date, a reminder, etc., and save and close. So now this is in my task list, which we discuss in other videos. And let's see what else we have. Another one of my favorites is actually to add it to the calendar. So go ahead and create a new one. We're going to find create an appointment with attachment. And if you are looking at your screen and you only can see a few words on your quick steps, sometimes I like to actually shorten the title. So I'm going to say add to calendar and finish. All right. So in this example, we're going to add it to the calendar. So add it to my calendar An invite pops up. I choose the day and the time of when I want to actually address this email. Now let's say, for example, I want to discuss this with someone. I can actually then invite people to this appointment and it becomes a meeting. All right. So I hope you guys are playing around with the quick steps, looking at all the options that you have. You can flag it. You can categorize it. You can permanently delete it. You can automatically forward it. You can make a task out of it. So please, 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 please take time to play around and it will save you so much time in your inbox. My name is Sue Viscara and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you need to reach out to me, I can be found via email, sue at suviscara.com. I believe in you. And if you want to continue to see great videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when I've uploaded some more. I look forward to helping you. Have a great day.